guys, it's me Jen. I am back today with a brand new video, which I'm actually really excited about because this is going to be the first video in a little series that I'm going to be making about back to school and back to uni. Basically, I will be giving you guys some tips on things like how to study, different hairstyles and makeup looks for school and university. In today's episode, I'm going to be telling you guys about how to take good notes. My first step is to be organised and prepared. I am one of those sad people that absolutely loves stationery. In order to take good notes, you're going to need lots of materials. I can never have enough sticky notes, notepads, pens, highlighters, you name it. During my first couple of years at secondary school, I was so disorganised and my notes would just be all over the place. I would have jotters shoved in my bag, textbooks that were all dog-eared, and my notes would end up looking a bit like this. Okay, time to start studying. Where are the rest of my notes? Hmm. I should have been more organised. Make sure that you invest in a big folder or one of the plastic envelopes for your jotters and your textbooks and your notepads. Keep them safe because there will be a point where you need them. The night before school, make sure that you've packed all your stuff and you've got everything in your bag. There's nothing worse than forgetting to bring your notepad and then stuff gets left out and then when you go to read back on your notes then there's gaps in it. So you want to make sure that every day you're prepared and you bring all the right stuff and it only takes two minutes to make sure that you've got that in your bag packed for the next morning. It's really good to go online and access the PowerPoint for the presentation that day and print it out before you go to the lecture. That way you won't waste loads of time writing down what's on the board and you'll already have it in front of you and you can focus more on what the lecturer has to say. Okay, so the next section that I want to talk about is colour coding your notes. And I feel like this makes a huge difference. It's scientifically proven that colour coding your notes helps you to remember them more. What I like to do is use colour coding to stand for different things in my notebook. For example, I will do important dates or names um, in yellow, titles in red and definitions in green. Make sure that your headings are written clearly. This just makes it easier to find things when you're looking through your notebook. Obviously people have different methods of writing things down. I like to use bullet points a lot and sometimes I'll do mind maps but you really need to figure out what style is right for you. When it comes to the actual note taking you need to make sure that you don't write down absolutely everything. PowerPoints will be available at a later stage so it might be a bit of a waste of time writing down exactly what's on the board because that might result in you missing something valuable which the teacher has said which might not necessarily be on the board. It's really important to listen to what your teacher or your lecturer is saying because they can give you some really valuable conclusions and things which might further help you to understand the point that they're trying to make. You don't have to just write in a notebook. I like to use cue cards and sticky notes. It's a really good way of condensing information onto little like leaflets and it's really portable as well so you can take it all over the place with you. You can also use those to test yourself later on when you're studying. Make sure you go out and check the Tumblr tag study blur. A tag for inspiring studying and there are so many like amazing notebooks in there and mind maps people have done that are like works of art and hopefully that could give you some inspiration of some cool ways to lay out your notes and motivate you to study. Okay so I know that was like a lot but I hope you guys found that really helpful. That was just some of the tips that I have used when I have been making notes. This is obviously a bit more of a serious video. If you guys have any other ideas of some back to school type videos that you would like to see make sure you leave them in the comments below. As usual my social media will all be at the end if you want to check me out on that. And yeah, thank you so so much for 4,000 subscribers. That is crazy. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!